Chrysler likes to take credit for introducing the minivan. Way back in 1984, it was an overnight success. Competition soon followed, and a generation of millennials grew up spilling Cheerios and sippy cups all over the spacious interiors of minivans. But as minivans fell out of fashion in favor of SUVs, sales began a long and steady slide from the 2000 peak, when a total of more than a million minivans were sold, to about half that number today. Still, 500, 000 sales is nothing to sneeze at, which is where it comes in. With the launch of the Pacifica, Chrysler is looking to regain the magic it lost in the face of a shrinking market and stiffer competition most notably and Chrysler may have created the minivan category but recent examples of the town and country in the Dodge Grand Caravan have been nothing to write home to mother about or to take her to the neighborhood yard sale and to load up some new finds in creating the Pacifica Chrysler chucked pretty much everything about its old minivans including the names the brand's marketers would just assume you didn't associate this brand new single model with a town and country or a grand caravan. And that's probably wise. Those cheerio dropping millennials have grown up and changed their dietary habits. But they have long memories. Those feeling nostalgic or shopping on a budget can still pick up AU at least for a while. But the TNC is gone. That said, the Pacifica is solid evidence that Chrysler is back in the minivan game. It's not just better in every respect than the models it replaces. It's ready to slug it out against the best of the competition. It's also packed with all the